Dear readers, welcome to our channel. Academician Ma Weiming is a member of the Chinese Academy of Engineering and a recipient of the National Distinguished Youth Fund. He is also a scientist with resilience and innovative abilities. Academician Ma Weiming has endured hardships on the path of scientific research, and the difficulties and challenges he faces often seem daunting. However, it is precisely this resilient spirit that enables him to overcome various difficulties and continuously achieve breakthrough results. His research achievements have not only had a widespread impact domestically but also gained high recognition internationally. In addition to his resilience, academician Ma Weiming's innovative ability is also admirable. He has conducted in-depth research in multiple fields and has the ability to organically combine knowledge from different disciplines, forming unique research ideas and methods. His innovative achievements have not only made important contributions to technological progress but also provided strong support for national defense construction. In the face of immense pressure, he led the team to overcome the challenge of electromagnetic catapult technology. Electromagnetic catapult technology, as an advanced technological means, cannot be ignored in the modern aviation field in terms of its importance and practical application value. This technology provides a more efficient and safe way for aircraft takeoff, greatly improving flight efficiency and safety. The working principle of electromagnetic catapult technology utilizes the action of electromagnetic force through a powerful electromagnetic field to provide the aircraft with tremendous acceleration force in a very short time. This force is sufficient to rapidly lift the aircraft off the ground and into the air. This method not only significantly shortens the aircraft's takeoff time but also reduces various risks that may occur during takeoff, thereby enhancing flight safety. China's electromagnetic catapult technology can surpass that of the United States, with the contribution of academician Ma Weiming being indispensable. However, what you may not know is that academician Ma faced immense pressure at the beginning of developing electromagnetic catapult technology. Why is this said? This is because, after the Liaoning aircraft carrier was put into use, China's carrier originally planned to use steam catapult technology. However, due to some complex situations in the South China Sea, our urgently constructed Shandong aircraft carrier was not completed on schedule, so it could only continue to use the ski jump takeoff method the same as the Liaoning. This also means that steam catapult technology was ultimately applied to the Fujian aircraft carrier. In other words, our research on steam catapult technology has already gone through a long period, and it can be said that this technology is quite mature. However, at this critical moment, someone proposed to no longer use steam catapults but to switch to electromagnetic catapults. Considering the achievements made by experts who have long been committed to steam catapult research through arduous efforts, would they be willing to give up everything overnight? I think if it were you, you wouldn't easily agree to do so. Therefore, this seems to imply that when academician Ma Weiming initially researched electromagnetic catapults, there were no clear goals and project support, and he could only raise funds for research on his own. Of course, the implementation of electromagnetic catapults on the Fujian aircraft carrier was not something academician Ma achieved with just a few words. Before being put into use, it inevitably had to undergo a series of rigorous evaluations and justifications. Moreover, at that time, the Fujian aircraft carrier was already in the process of construction, and the hull was designed based on steam catapults. If it were to be changed to electromagnetic catapults, the hull would need to be redesigned and modified. It can be imagined that academician Ma faced immense pressure at that time. However, efforts will eventually pay off. The final evaluation results showed that electromagnetic catapult technology was more advanced, with higher catapult efficiency and better safety fully meeting the inspection standards. Therefore, the original steam catapults on the Fujian aircraft carrier were temporarily decided to be replaced by electromagnetic catapults. Surprisingly, academician Ma Weiming's team successfully completed the research and development of electromagnetic catapults and also solved the related issues of electromagnetic guns. 
The successful application of electromagnetic catapult technology greatly improved the performance of the Fujian aircraft carrier. This is a major breakthrough in China's naval construction and a testimony to the contributions made by academician Ma Weiming and his team to China's technological progress. Compared with traditional mechanical catapult devices, electromagnetic catapult technology has higher efficiency and reliability. Traditional mechanical catapult devices require complex mechanical structures to provide power, while electromagnetic catapult technology achieves this through electromagnetic force, making it simpler to operate and more efficient. Additionally, electromagnetic catapult technology has better adaptability and can precisely control according to the weight and takeoff requirements of different aircraft, meeting the needs of various types of aircraft. In addition to these advantages, electromagnetic catapult technology also has lower maintenance costs and longer service life. Due to the working principle of electromagnetic catapult technology, it does not generate a large amount of wear and tear during use, resulting in much lower maintenance costs than traditional mechanical catapult devices. Furthermore, due to its more advanced design, electromagnetic catapult technology also has a longer service life than traditional mechanical catapult devices. These advantages enable airlines to save a considerable amount of operating costs when using electromagnetic catapult technology. Therefore, the core principle of electromagnetic catapult technology is to use electromagnetic force to rapidly and smoothly accelerate the aircraft from the deck or runway to takeoff speed. Compared with traditional steam catapults or hydraulic catapults, electromagnetic catapult technology has higher efficiency and reliability. It not only provides tremendous thrust to the aircraft in a short period but also can be precisely adjusted according to the weight and takeoff requirements of the aircraft ensuring optimal performance for each takeoff. Furthermore, electromagnetic catapult technology has advantages such as low maintenance costs, long service life, and environmental friendliness. Since it uses electromagnetic force, it does not require large amounts of fuel or water consumption, resulting in minimal environmental impact. Moreover, due to its simple structure, maintenance and repair are relatively easy significantly reducing the operating costs of airlines. With the continuous advancement of technology, the application field of electromagnetic catapult technology is also expanding. In addition to being widely used in the aviation industry, it is also used in spacecraft launches, high-speed train braking systems, electric vehicle propulsion systems, and many other fields. These applications fully demonstrate the enormous potential and broad prospects of electromagnetic catapult technology. However, despite the numerous advantages of electromagnetic catapult technology, it still faces some challenges. For example, how to improve its energy conversion efficiency, ensure its stability and safety under various extreme environments, and reduce its manufacturing and operating costs. These issues require in-depth research and exploration by researchers. Finally, I will summarize for the readers, hoping you have gained something, enlightenment and reflection. Overall, electromagnetic catapult technology is an important pillar of the modern aviation industry. Its emergence and development have greatly promoted the progress of the aviation industry. In the future, with continuous technological innovation and improvement, we have reason to believe that electromagnetic catapult technology will play a greater role in more fields and make greater contributions to the development of human society. That's all for today's video. Stay tuned for the next exciting content. Goodbye. Bye.